like I don't I have no idea why Trader Joe's why do you not have like a real container for your seasoning Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley Jamise. My channel is all about nutrition. Be sure to follow along with me on my journey as I use food as fuel to support my healthy lifestyle. So today I wanted to show you guys my Trader Joe's haul. Um, it was really crowded inside of the store today, so I didn't do any filming in there. However, I do have plenty of groceries to show you guys. So let's get started. Okay, so this may not seem like a lot, but these bags are full of goodies from Trader Joe's. I haven't been there in about a month, so I was trying to re-up on a lot of things. Okay, so for today's haul from Trader Joe's, I have a lot of different foods, pastas, frozen food, fresh food, and so we're just gonna get into it. Um, I spent $85.14 for everything that I bought today, and we will get started with the produce. I have organic spring mix. I like to have that in my salads. We have two bags of baby spinach. The baby spinach I like to put in salads, in smoothies. Um, pretty versatile there, even like in omelets. Okay. I haven't had these in a while, but these are sweet mini peppers, and these are yellow, orange, and red. It says tasty, crunchy, and juicy. I like eating these both raw and cooked. If they're cooked, I like to put them in a, like I like to saute them and add like different proteins, maybe add in like broccoli, Brussels sprouts, make my own like stir fry, beans, they're all, it's really good. That I actually might put in um, the tacos that I'm gonna be making in my next what I eat in a day. So be sure to look out for that video. So next I have mini pearl Greek tomatoes. This container, you can see it. They come with a lot in this container. It's only about two to three dollars. I like these because um, I'm gonna start roasting tomatoes um, and making like a nice, like my own sauce to go in pasta and so um, this will be really good as I'm trying out new recipes. So I also picked up two pineapple. Um, the reason I picked up two is because I like to use pineapple in my detox drink. I also like to use fresh pineapple in my smoothies or I can freeze it myself. But it's so much cheaper to buy the whole pineapple and cut it up yourself. But if you can tell, this is a yellower type of pineapple. Um, the reason I like getting yellower because that means it's closer to being ripe and I can go ahead and cut this one. And then the other one I have is really, really green. So this one to me is not ready to be cut yet. It looks a little bit yellower here on camera than it actually is in front of me. But you can tell the difference in the pineapple. So this one is ready to cut today and this one um, is I'm gonna wait a few more days before I cut this. Also got a bag of mandarins. These are really good in smoothies. I also like eating these by themselves as a snack. Um, they're Trader Joe's version, but they're the same as like getting some halos. And so I like getting these um, every other time that I go to the grocery store because they actually last a while. We also got cucumbers. And so these are actually English cucumbers, which is why they're so long. Um, I like cutting these in half and making my detox drink, so I'll use this with the pineapple. I have plenty of fresh ginger from the last time that I went grocery shopping. And then I'll also add um, lemon. And they're also really hydrating and good for you um, if you're feeling like you aren't getting enough of like your water intake. Still drink your water, but the cucumbers are really, really good for um, hydrating the body too. Okay, and the last thing that I got for produce are kiwi. Um, and so I just get the individual kiwi. And if you wanna see more recipes of mine, be sure to like this video. So on to frozen food. I have two bags of these mango chunks. I have no idea what Trader Joe's does to their mango, but this is the best frozen mango that I've ever had. 
I don't have the energy to um, cut and peel my own mango like with the huge pit and everything so I always buy it frozen and these are so good. I have two bags of these because I like these and so did Marcus. So they go pretty fast. I also got um, some ravioli. This is the ricotta and spinach filled ravioli, Trader Joe's brand. These are really good as more like a starter meal and then I'll add a vegetable just so that we can have more greens because the spinach that's in here is, it's, there's barely any in there. I have to get in my vegetables like some way and so because of that, I make my own vegetable on the side and then have that, this pasta. Okay, next frozen thing I have is roasted corn. Um, this will go with the tacos that I will be making. Um, I also have organic rice cauliflower. Um, I started eating this when I did the Daniel fast. If you have not seen that video, I will leave that in the cards. Added a lot of seasonings to it and it, it came out so good as like a base to my meal. The next frozen thing I have is shelled edamame. This again is another thing that I eat when I was on the Daniel Fest. It has lots of protein. I can saute it, stir fry it. I can boil it. I can put it in the microwave. Like this is so versatile and it's really, really good. And you have plenty of protein, which I'm trying to work on increasing my protein intake. I'm, I'm working on it. It's, it's actually tough to eat the amount of protein that you need to have in a day. So the next frozen item I have are these pitted dark, dark sweet cherries. I love these in smoothies, um, especially because the protein powder that I have by Only What You Need is um, chocolate flavored. This gives like a milkshake, um, creamy, thick, like it's delicious. Like this would be like a dessert. Next frozen thing that I have is um, the shrimp seafood burgers. I tried these um, because one of my coworkers recommended them. They are absolutely delicious. Or they do have seasoning that comes with them and it's fine without it, but I like Old Bay. Like, I think that when you're from Maryland, all you eat is Old Bay on all your seafood. And so, these shrimp seafood burgers, like, they are absolutely delicious. For my next item, are just shredded cheese. Um, we ran out. I like to have shredded cheese with my scrambled eggs. Also, for tacos, cannot have tacos without taco seasoning mix. And for some reason, Trader Joe's only puts um, their taco seasoning in these tiny little packets that, like, I don't, I have no idea why Trader Joe's. Why do you not have like a real container for your seasoning. But this taco seasoning is so good. I also got the cowboy caviar. This stuff is so addictive. I, I absolutely love this. And I have to practice portion control, so which I don't eat these with chips. We don't keep chips in the house because keeping chips in the house means that you're eating chips in the house and they just, they don't last. So we just don't have them. But I do like having this salsa with salad. It has a little bit of a kick to it. This is delicious, delicious. So next I have these English muffins. I love bread. And the hardest thing about having bread is that it digests in your body as sugar. So because I am trying to watch my sugar and not have too much, then I tend to lean towards English muffins because it has a lower amount of carbs and I get, still get to have a sandwich. I'll um, just make like a breakfast sandwich, my eggs, grilled cheese, I'll have some spinach on it, maybe add like a little bit of hot sauce or some salsa and it'll be delicious. Like just a great way to get in variety of foods like and it makes me want to eat my own food versus me like going out somewhere to eat. So next I have basil pesto. I ran out of this. I just made this last week when I made a chicken pasta and it was so good. I forgot how good this was. Last but certainly not least is kombucha. Um, the brand I really like is GT's Synergy Raw Kombucha. I got three different flavors. Um, I've been drinking this kombucha for years. But this whole bottle, I probably will drink like half a day. It's pretty strong because I don't drink soda. This flavor is Trilogy. Um, it tastes kind of like a 
fruit punch soda. The next one I have is ginger ale. This is more like a ginger ale, but stronger type of taste. Like if you want like their real like ginger flavor, like ginger ale is really for you. Last but not least is strawberry lemonade. And this is more on the sweeter side. It doesn't taste like regular strawberry lemonade, of course, because it's kombucha and not juice. But if I'm looking for like a sweeter type of kombucha, then this is what I'll lean towards. So that concludes my Trader Joe's grocery haul. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you wanna watch more videos like this, more grocery hauls, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment and I will see you in the next video. Bye.